Referee is set to drop the puck on this one. Rosters are ready alongside Ray Burrow. I'm James Sabalski, ready to call all the action in this one. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Sharks start with possession as we are now underway. Moves the puck. Big time stop there. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. Another stop by the goaltender. No time to... Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sends it over to Russell. And it's a quick pass to Bear. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Good hit on the play. The attack. Off a stick. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Bear. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Quick feed to Shepard. Nice pass back. Here's a chance out front. Comes up with the steal. Faust carries the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Shepard. Oh, and they go back on offense. Takes control of the puck. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Takes the feed at the point. Let's it fly. Right on the doorstep. Comes up with the stop. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. Handles the puck at the point. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up. Quick pass to McLeod. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Bear. Russell's got it across the line. Quick feed to Bear. With some momentum driving towards the net, comes up with the stop. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Pass stolen in the open ice. San Jose's coaches have talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. From the neutral zone now. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. San Jose's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Move to the middle, and he totally whiffs on that one. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Slides the puck down low, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty, or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. Broken up. Horvat's got the puck in his own zone. Broken up at center. Receives the pass. Back to the blue line. Strong defensive effort. McLeod's carrying it ahead. Here's a chance right out in front. And that's broken up. Passes it over to Bear. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. Charging the call on the play. Travel too much distance to make that hit. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress. You have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Shepard. Gets down to knock it away. And there's the save.
Here in the dying moments of this period, 1-0 the score. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Sends the pass over. In close! Turns it away! Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Quick pass over to Russell. Here's a shot! Oh, comes up with a stop. Missed opportunity by the power play unit as they fail to execute, still trailing by one. Gets it out of his own end. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. Runs him hard into the wall and makes the save. Slides it quickly to Russell. Russell's got it in the defensive end. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. McLeod's on the attack in the offensive zone. Six seconds remaining. A chance from the slot. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. you got to look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. There's the horn, an entertaining 20 minutes of play as we are tied at one. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Period number two now underway. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Now a quick pass to McLeod. Pass right back. And the linesman calls icing on the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We got a tie game. Bears won the draw. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Keeps hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. Here's it off the post. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Russell's moving the puck through his own zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Chopping away at it. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. San Jose's got possession here in the offensive zone. Works it across to Horvath. Great read, comes up with it. And he loses control of the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the feed. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Devils lugging the puck. on the play and a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up here's the official call Adams getting called for tripping played with fire he got burned Ray oh, he's digging around for the puck and sometimes you just get caught this time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box 
San Jose's got it in their own zone. Nice pass. Carries it across the line. Here's a short pass to Bear. Feeds the puck to McLeod. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Here they come on the attack. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Bear, and that's picked off. The Sharks get a hold of it with the steal. Picked up along the boards by Russell. Here's a chance. Puts it on goal. Denies him on the play. Rocks him on the play. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Wangs on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Drives it to the front of the net. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Takes the feed. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Devil. Slides it across. Puts it on net. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Tremendous hit against the wall. You think there's a sliver of room there, James? There's none. And he got court. Moves it to Bear. Set it out in front. And that one's broken up. San Jose is going to play the puck from behind the cage. Makes the easy save with the glove. Jackson stick handling in his own zone. Takes the pass. Puck picked up by Russell. Slides the puck to Bear. On the attack along the boards. Takes the shot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. That's a slash on that play. The referee's all over it. Here comes the call. The officials making the call. You know, you had, what, over 400 goals? Different kind of stick work here. A little different. I, I would say this is probably the penalty I took as much as any. Really? Yeah, you get a little bit behind and... Or you get a little bit frustrated in the slash is the one. Or is that the Ferraro temper? No, it's... Yes. <laughs> With the steal. The Sharks have it against the wall. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Right up front. Here's an offensive chance. Horvat's got it in the corner. Passes right to the front. Gets in front of it. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. Whistle blown, stopping the play. There's a tough call to take here. Interference is the call, Ray. Battling away for the puck, you end up taking a little bit too much of a liberty and you get whistled for interference. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. 
Great positioning by the defender. Oh, what a stop! Second period is in the book, still too close to call. We are tied at one. Just around the corner, Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. San Jose's man advantage is still intact as this period gets underway, and they win the draw. San Jose's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Great reflexes. Another save. Big time hit against the boards. Tell me this. What would you rather take against the wall? Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Well, the goalies have to be sharp here because there's every bit of possibility that someone's going to break free pretty quickly on four-on-four. got the puck over the line they come there's the whistle offside is the call stopping the play lots of time left in this period the next goal could be a big one as we are tied while the centers are jammed up nice job by the winger to steal the puck bringing the physicality tonight the wild have the puck in their own zone Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. With the blast! Shuts him down! Moves with the puck in the corner. Move to the middle! Here's a chance to set up now. Sends it down low. Here's a shot, and a great save! Tries to clear. They clear the zone after a ton of pressure. It didn't look like the puck was ever going to get over the blue. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been leveled. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. The Sharks have jumped out to a one-goal lead here in this third. Well, pretty clear this game's not going to spread out at all. Two very equal teams battling it out. Carries it in. Handles the puck. And he comes up with it. Quick feed to Bear. Moves the puck over to McLeod. With possession along the wall. San Jose's got it from behind the net. It's in the net! Sorry, James, jumped on you there. You can see this one coming. What a great move by the shooter to get around the back of the net. Bang, bang, two goals and right around a minute 40. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Feeds the puck across to Russell. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Takes control of the puck. 
get it to go. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Slides the puck across to Devil. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Russell's in good position to create a scoring chance, but he bobbles the puck, and the chance is gone. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Almost up. Scores! This is a terrific move by the goal scorer here. He drives around the back of that. You've got to have a little courage because you don't know what's coming back down the slot. And he gets to the post and tucks it in. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Minnesota's trailing by one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Stays with it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Jackson's taking it from his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. Here's a short pass to McLeod. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Bear. Faust has the puck against the half wall. From the point, they take control of it. Into the offensive zone. Here's the pass. And the defenders come up with the puck. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Dishes it to Horvath. Quick pass to Horvath. Big time stop there. Right on the doorstep. Again, the denial by the goaltender. I like how he's able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. We got a minor penalty coming up For here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Tries to get it out of their own end. Big defensive play on that clear. Yeah, puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here. Can't get it to go. And that one's turned away. There's another stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers it. level here as they try to give the penalty killing unit an opportunity to kind of regroup here what would the message yeah, be? Yeah a little bit of a regroup but also there might be a little bit of information you want to give the penalty killers something a coach might have noticed in the power play setup of the other team. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone Oh and that goes wide Minnesota's wasted way too many chances here late in the third period they're behind because they have not capitalized Trying to clear, and manages to clear the zone. Both teams back to even strength here. I get that you're not going to score on every man advantage, but boy, they would have loved to have scored on that one. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. In front, the puck stopper gets on top, but we'll get a little stoppage of play here, Ray. Yep, goalies are going to jump on it as quick as they can anytime around the front of the net. Here in the later stages of this period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shepard's got the puck. Quick feed down low. San Jose's got the puck behind the net. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And that's a big defensive play with that clearing. Yeah, you got to focus on it, James. It seems like an easy play, but that puck has to go out. Fires the one-timer. Blocked in traffic. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Puck 
practice drop and play resumes. Moves the puck. Taken by McLeod. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. They've got the defense outnumbered. Quick shot, and that goes off a player. And manages to clear the zone. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. And that one's broken up. Slides the puck over. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. Here's a race for the loose puck. The Wild have possession along the boards. Here they are on the attack. To his teammate. Tries to tuck it in. Pass right on the doorstep. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Well, they'll look at it and say, hey, we controlled play at certain points. We had a better face-off percentage, but just not enough. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sowalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.
And we are all ready to go here alongside Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Puck drop about to go. to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Receives the pass. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Tries to get the puck over to Price. Keeps a hold of the puck. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Trying to get back on the attack now. Loses his balance on the play. Shepard's got the puck in his own zone. There's the whistle icing the call. Price has won the faceoff. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Sends it quickly to Duchesne. Duchesne's got it against the boards. Ritu's got it in the offensive zone. Shot. He scores! A quick goal here has the whole crowd buzzing. They are, and you can tell the players are excited here with the early goal. You can expect the coaches to be telling them to keep pushing the pace on the road team. Oh, this is a terrific shot into the top bins up over the blocker on the stick side. Philadelphia's got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team, the first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. On the doorstep, scores! Oh, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone, and now we're evened up again. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it, and he beats the goalie. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number 95. Assisted by number... Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. One second. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Great defensive effort with the strip. Gets that puck back on a stick. Faust takes the puck. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Can't connect. Easily turned aside by Hart. The Flyers played along the boards. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves the puck down low. Price plays it against the boards. Nice poke check. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Price. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Great stick work with the steal. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Right up the gut. Here they go. Into the corner now. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Minnesota's had all sorts of opportunities here in this first period. They finally lead. But I've liked the way that they've done this, James, because they haven't started to press. They've just continued to be aggressive, to work the forecheck, and they're finally rewarded. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Sends the pass over. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. More than half the period has expired. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. 
Sends a pass over. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Bears got it into offensive territory. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Duchesne's getting two for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Gets it out of his own end. And he slides it quickly to Bear. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now he moves it to Shepard. Denies him on the play. Puck scooped up by Price. And manages to clear the zone. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Well, that's a bad decision. Get it moving forward when you're ahead. Skills, he's got it along the wing. Dime seconds to this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. Quick feed to Bear. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. Oh, what a stop! Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Puts it on that big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Skilsey. He got all of that one. Going after that loose puck by any means necessary. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Shepard. And now he moves it quickly to Bear. Let's it go! A rocker off the blocker! Twenty minutes is complete as the horn sounds, concluding period number one. Well, both goaltenders leak a little bit here. We've got a 2-1 game, and I can expect more of the same here if the first period was any indication. to their respective rooms. We'll go recharge ourselves and get ready for a big second period. it over way too often. Pretty lucky the score's close. Can't hang on after that hit. A chance in front. Can't connect. Taken along the wall by Duchesne. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. The Wild have control of the puck. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Feeds it to Bear. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the pass down low. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. That goes off a twig. Slides it over with pace to Price. Great poke check on the reach. Intercepts the pass. Here's a blast. Doesn't go. Ritu's got it in the defensive end. Gets the puck over to Skilzy. Can't get a hold of that pass. Moves it quickly over to Price. 
There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. They're calling slashing on the play, Ray. Penalty of frustration in a lot of cases. Penalty to number 95. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Tries to feed it over to Duchesne. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Smart defensive play there. Centered out in front. Puck grabbed by Price. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Into the corner of the attacking area. Here we go. On the wraparound. And that one stopped. Smothered that in close chance. Gets it out of his own end. Takes control of the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. And he makes the save. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Whiffs on that. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Just a great defensive read there. Quick feed to Duchesne. Gets the puck back onto his stick. And that goes off a player in front. Takes the feed. Moves behind the net. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Stones him on the one-timer. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Feeds it over to Bear. Comes up with the steal. Quick pass to Bear. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Hall. And it's a quick pass to Skilzy. And makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Russell. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice pass. Quick feed to Price. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Takes it across the blue line. Oh, what a play to give up the body on the block. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Philadelphia gained possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line, settles things down, and gets control of it once again. Just misses. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Here's a short pass to Skilzy. Centering pass in front. He scores! Now you got to keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. And no way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one timed into the net. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. The Wild have possession along the boards. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Makes the stop with the blocker. Long reach breaks up the momentum. From point blank range. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. And the officials waving off icing here. Smart defensive play to tap it away. It's a straight-up race for the puck. There's the end of period number two. It's still deuces wild here. period is just moments away and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports.
Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Right in front of the net. Can't connect. Russell's moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Both whole game changes when he's got the puck. He's got two goals. He's looking for a third. Here's a blast. That's off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Hall. Reach is lugging the puck. Minnesota's trying to make scores. And he put... This game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Minnesota's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Shepard stick handling in his own zone. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. Right in front. He scores! And this place is moment's all about well i guess we know who the first star is probably going to be that's three for him tonight james sabalski ray ferrara with you here in the early going of this period you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game with possession along the wall and that's broken up takes the pass shot and the lane's clogged up blocking that Minnesota's looking to break out. Moves it around along the half wall. Picks up the puck in his own end. With the bank pass. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Redirected out front. And not much on that one. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Off and he wins the draw. And officials right on top of that one calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here's a blast. Way too much congestion blocks that. And he gets the puck right back. And that's picked off in front. Here comes the official's decision. Slashing the call here on this one. Now he got his two minutes worth there, James, as he's fishing away and all of a sudden he takes the stick back and whacks him pretty good grabs the puck here inside the offensive end and manages to clear the zone here in the corner he grabs the puck scoops up the puck here handles the puck looking to make something happen along the boards Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards clearing attempt and he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick pass to Bear. Moves the puck. Slides the puck over. And he slides it quickly to Russell. And he says no! More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Makes the save. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. And now it's grabbed by Price. Good hit on the play. 
Directed over to Hall. Up along the wing. Looks to make a play over to Duchesne. Got a great heads-up defensive play here. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it on over to Shepard. Feeds it on over to Russell. Receives the pass. Moves it to Shepard. Picks off the pass. Intercepts it at center. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Duchesne. And that's broken up. Right on the doorstep. Denied by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Bears taking it from his own end. Here he is, trying to get loose. What a back check effort there. Sometimes you're in a race with the wrong guy. The forward had room. All of a sudden, it's all gone. Tremendous. Swing and a miss. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Under a minute to go in the third. Minnesota's got the puck. Pushes it across to Shepard. Faust moves it into the attacking end. Puck picked up by Duchesne. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Power play unit going back to work. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Gets it out of his own end. Philadelphia gained possession along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. And he regains control of the puck. Right to the middle. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And that one's blocked. Man, shoot it off the glass. Get it out of there. The Wild have the puck while under man. On the doorstep. Chance in front. With the stop. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Penalty killers have their work cut out for them here. But a nice start to the period as they win the draw. Throws it in. Sends the pass over. Quick feed to Duchesne. Oh, oh, he gives up the body on that. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Chance to win it, and he comes up with a huge save. Out front, unbeatable, and he totally whiffs on it. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Russell's got the puck in his own zone. And a huge opportunity here in overtime is blown as the power play comes up short. 
Sometimes you miss a power play and you shrug your shoulders and go back to the bench. This feels like a pretty heavy miss. Skills, he's going to play it against the half wall. Puck lands back onto a stick. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Russell. Trying to clear. And mission accomplished, Ray. Yeah, late in the game, it's defensive blue line, puck out. Offensive blue line, puck in. Nothing turned over at those two spots. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, he looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift, but he's pretty clearly not at 100%. And that one's broken up. Ritu's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Price. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Slides the puck over to Shepard. All great read on the play. Through center along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Price. That one's off the blocker. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Big save by the goaltender once again. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Skillsy's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Shepard's moving the puck through his own zone. Picking up some steam at center ice. Into the middle of the neutral zone. That knocks him off the puck. Taken by Hall. The Wild have six nights. Good night! That'll do it, but they needed overtime, but yet come up with a big win. That's a lot of work for the points that they get gaining here in the overtime with the victory. You slug it out for all the regulation. Now you're looking for that one chance to put it away.